Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings screen resolution? Let's run through a quick little example here. When I play this, I have my display resolution option box here. I can change it. Uh, let's try 1680 by 1050 and apply, and my resolution changes. We can go back and choose something else like 1280 by 720, apply, and it changes. And that's it. That's what our screen resolution nodes are for. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, here we go. So traditionally, you would have some way to allow the player to select their screen resolution. You can either have them type it in by hand or you would use a combo box in my case. For my example, I'm populating my resolutions by simply getting the supported full screen resolutions, which is a node, returns back an array of endpoint structures, and then I'm filling out my combo box with all those options. And that's why you see here all of my options for my monitor. Now, when I'm actually, well, let's go back to the correct event graph. When I'm actually choosing an option, I'm splitting it apart and I'm using the set screen resolution node. What you do for that is you get the game user settings, it returns back the game user settings reference, and you feed it into your screen resolution. It's going to take as an input, let's, let's pull this off right here. It's going to take an int point structure. Well, what's an endpoint structure? It's a struct that simply has an X and a Y. So you can either plug in an endpoint structure, in this case I'm using the make endpoint option, if we do sensitive, or you could go ahead and just split this node right here and feed in an X and a Y. Now it's going to take in any, any information you give it, so keep that in mind. Your player, if you allow them to, could put in invalid information, or they could put in manual information. Remember, it gets this from our game user settings file, so technically your player could put in an invalid resolution. So if you're setting the screen resolution, you need to make sure that it's a valid resolution or you give the player a way to fall back to an older confirmed version. Now there are a few nodes for default resolution and last confirmed screen resolution. Those are covered in different videos, but those are fallbacks and you might want to make sure you look into using them if you're going to allow the player to set their own resolution. In my case, I use a drop down of valid resolution, so I should be okay. Now, keep in mind here, setting screen resolution, I'm doing this on the combo box. So when I play and change my combo box, the screen resolution node is being called. We can actually, you know, why don't we look at that? We'll debug our settings. We'll go back to here and I'll change my resolution to this one. And you'll notice it fired off and we ran the node, but nothing actually changed on the screen. I can show you it again. We'll go to 1600 by 900 and it fires off again. Now when I hit apply, now the resolution changes. That is something to keep in mind. The set screen resolution node basically tells the game user settings that you're plugged into what the new resolution will be, but nothing happens until you actually apply those settings to your screen, and those are covered by the apply nodes. And that's it. That's all our set screen resolution node is for. Takes in an int point, which is an X and a Y structure, that will be your new screen resolution that's given to your game user settings. And those settings are not put into place until you apply it. 